Hi guys, Steve VK3 Cattle T here. Today's video is about the CW memory key in the ICOM range of radios. Focusing on the 705, it's the same for the 7300, 9700, and uh, 7610, probably 7600, and uh, I think the 7, 7100, a number of the other radios. Basically, I'll just show you how to program the keys. Program each memory, what they're used for, what to write in them to give you a pretty good guide as a starting point, um, and get you ready so that you could have your first QSO in CW. That's my aim, um, just using the memory keys. Pretty simple, uh, not too difficult. In the video, I do mention the reverse beacon network, uh, the RBN, and that's where you can hear your CQ, CQ. It gets heard on this. It's just a web page, just look it up. I think it's uh, reverse beacon network. I'll just put that into Google anyway and you'll find that there. Um, basically, that will show you your spots. Put a filter in there for your call sign and it should come up if anything comes through. Try and use a more powerful radio the first time you do it, just so it's a good chance of hearing something. Or if you're in it in the States, you shouldn't have a problem being picked up. Um, here in Australia, we don't have very many receivers. We've only got like three or four, so it makes it very difficult sometimes to be heard. Just note that if you're in BK. All right, otherwise, enjoy this video. If you like my content, please like, share, and uh, subscribe and comment and tell me what you think. If you like it, you like it. If you don't like it, you don't like it. Just tell me. Feedback is really appreciated. Um, and I just try and make these videos as helpful as possible. Um, I'm not a, a beginner at CW. I'm not good at CW. I can send it, I can receive it pretty well, about 60%. There's a CW decoder. In another video, I'll go into how to, how to set up a CW decoders and which one's best and why they work so well and how they work. So I'll be doing that um, in, a, in a future video. So if you want to see that, uh, please let me know. Um, yeah, and that's it. So, but I can sense CW quite quickly. I can't hear it that well. I can't receive it that well. Get you off better, but say I've been five years I've been learning. So it's a constant journey. And that's what I think you'll probably find. It's, but it's a very, very rewarding uh, uh, part, part of the hobby. All right, 73 for this section. And uh, we'll go lead on and go into the CW memories. For the uh, ICOM range of radios, seven threes. Hi oh guys, Steve VK3 Cannibal T here. Um, CW, a lot of you will be, if you get 705, will be trying to learn CW or would love to use it to activate a park or to work a park or park to park who's operating in CW. The easiest way to learn CW or to actually to transmit CW is with key of memories. So where you have memorised uh, sections of uh, of code like your call sign, your report, and things like that, all built. And in the 705, there's actually memories built into the radio, so you can actually do that. So today I'm going to show you how to basically program them and then how to use them. So pretty basically, um, you have the mode into CW. You must have the break in turned on. So that's done in the settings. And then you go um, function, I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, not side tone. Uh, sure it's there, yeah. I oh, don't know, wrong place, sorry. It's here next to the Vox button, and there's a break in and a non breaking button. You'll see the break in's marked there. And if I press that again, it'll turn it off. Full break in means it's full QSK, so that there's no breaks. So yeah, there's a little bit of a gap there, and then there's uh, off. So now we'll press it again, go to break in, and that just keeps it keyed for that little bit of an extra second so you don't get a gap in between. Or full QSK is full break in, so you go, you turn the bump up a bit so you can hear. And that's one of the reasons why you want to have a memory key in. So you've got a station you want to work. So before you, while you're listening to him and working out where his call sign is and everything like that and how it's working, then you'll go to the key section here. And then we'll have in programmed in our memories. These are pre-programmed in. Very simple to set up um, and to set up one. So basically you go to edit, set. And then you hit edit here. And there'll be some pre-programmed ones in there which will say ICOM 
yeah, CQ, CQ, CQ. But basically, this is write these down or follow these or screenshot this and then have a look at it. So basically, if you're calling CQ, which is a great way to check the RBM to see whether your antenna is working if you don't have FT8 or anything else. Um, just send CQ, CQ, DE, your call sign, which is my call sign, VK3, KTT, VK3, KTT, and break at the end. Simple. Then that one's for a contest, but there's a thank you, QRZ, and then we go down to the next one. There's eight memories, remember. So this is when I'm calling someone. I've got this all set up on this one page. VK3, KTT, I'll just send my call sign, and then I'll send him a report, your 5 and then, thank you, or... If you're not quite sure if he's got your call sign, so you'll send him you are 5NN, which is 599DE, VK3, KWD, or your call sign. And you always put thank you at the end. That's it. So, pretty simple. How do I program it in? Well, you go, this is a, I kept this, this one free. So you do edit. And then basically it's just a number thing. So you put in, uh, my name is, so let's put, Is Steve. Okay, pretty simple. QDH Melbourne. Let me tell what rig you've got. Then it'll go ten. W. Space break. That's just a quick conversation if you want to add something with someone so you've actually got something a bit longer in there. Can we go back here? So basically I'm on 10 minutes, it's night time here, the band's not open, so I'm not gonna affect anyone. I'll turn the power down a bit. So it's down here, let's get out of here. Get out of there, let's go, exit. Okay, here tap this. For those who are worried about how much power I'm doing, we're not going there because that's a CW keying speed. So you can adjust the CW keying speed by going into the multi-function button, pressing that six in there. That's 20 words a minute. And then I want to adjust HF power, so I'll turn that down. And in case anyone's worried, I'm QRMing. There's one watt. They hear that. Good luck to them. So then we'll stop it. Go back to normal. Now you can adjust the CW pitch. That's what 600 hertz sounds like. Then you go to... Now... Yeah. Right, it just adjusts the knob yet. So there's your tones a bit lower. You go a bit lower again. Or you can go higher. So I like it at 600. Go at 700. And then you can go up again even further. But you've got to be about 12 years old to hear this. It's also good in a pilot because that'll get you through because it's not the tone that everyone else uses. Like it there or... Six, Sounds good. Anyway, you learn how to set up your pitch. So I've got a station we want to call. So hit menu, Kia, quick he's there. I've heard him, I've worked out when the brakes are, now I'm calling him. Did he hear me? I'll try again. And then he'll either come back, and then if he comes back to me, he'll go, yeah, sending your report, and then you'll go, okay. Which is just basically your five and then thank you. If you're pretty clear that he's got your call sign, if he's got a pile of people who's working, that's how you want to do it. Or you've got, um, if you're not sure if he's got your call sign, pretty good. Now you've got the CQ function here, which is to test the RBN, the reverse beacon network. So you just go.
if you put that in, what we had before we go back, scroll back to the screen, just freeze frame it, write down what I wrote there, CQ, CQ, DE, VK3, KWC, or your call, you know, K3, KTT, which is my US call. Um, send that twice and BK, and then you go to the reverse beacon network, which I'll show you in another video, or maybe at the end of this. Um, basically, it's just uh, a place where you can see where your signal's being heard, and there are receivers all over the world. So you find out whether you're doing it. Now, here's a sneaky one here. Here is the M2 button, which is UR5 in N, and there's all these numbers. Let's go to the edit settings here. We'll have a look. So if you want a CW contest, you're not really good at CW, but you can work out what the other guy's number is, and you want to send him a number, you've got this little number here, which sends you a sequential number every time you send it, and then it increases it by one. Really, really worth investigating that. If you're going to one which is, might be your state, so you might be in the US or you might be in Australia and you might have your zone or something like that, you program up another memory with UR5NN and then let's say you're in, you know, you're in California, CA, or you're in, uh, you know, uh, whatever, I'm trying to think of uh, New Mexico, you know, November Mike, or something like that for your state, so they've got that and thank you. So that's an easy way for you to send your state uh, when you're in a, like a, uh, what do they call it? The state. Oh, can't think of the word now. But they have them every you know, every year. Every state has its own individual one where everyone's trying to talk to Kansas or something like that. So that's how you do that. Or you just have the serial number in there for the CQWW and a lot of the other contests that just require CQ. Um, your number in there. So that's basically it with a break. Then thank you. So some of you just want to say thank you to someone or QRZ. So you're working in a park. You're activating a park. You know, you've been sending your CQ. CQ and you can put your portable call sign in there then somebody comes back and uh, you're not quite sure but at the end you just want to go like this and that gives them, they're saying QRZ, any other calls there and they'll come back to you then I can go into the long form one so you can hear how it sounds so this is my name is Steve, QDX is Melbourne if you don't hear it's reading it out for you So basically in a few seconds you told them basically your name, your QDH, where you live, what radio you're running, how much power you're running. Simple, and most of the time they'll get some of the ones who want to have a conversation with you, they'll get them off your back because sometimes people want to chat and you're really not very good enough at CW to have a chat, but he's got your basic information there, you can do that. If you get a computer program, you can program in even more stuff um, where it's got the computer memories, I use Win Warble and you can do that. And basically you can have a whole conversation there and sometimes you'll hear it doctor or man or whatever and that's just them using canned messages so they're basically your eight canned messages that you can get from your radio with the ic705 it works really well with a laptop if you plug it into usb port you set up one of those programs like hrd or wind warble or one of the other ones where you're keying programs or even n1mm and you have pre-programmed responses and with n1mm there's a slot you can open up we can actually send typing messages so you can have a typing type QSO. And when you're really close to someone, it actually works quite well if you've got a good decoder, even if your CW is not very good, because you're seeing it from a computer, so the spacings are actually very, very good. And uh, and therefore, the decoder actually decodes them quite well, so you get pretty well the gist of the conversation. Anyway, that gives you an idea of what it is. Um, if you like the content here today, please like and subscribe. Um, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and uh, yeah. Hope it's been useful for you. And uh, yeah, I'm not very good at CW, but I like to use it a lot. And it's really a handy mode, especially if you're chasing DX. So uh, have a good day and uh, we'll see you again. Thanks guys, bye bye.